virus is keeping people at home and cars off the road. That's having unintended but positive consequences when it comes to our air quality. Traffic in California is no joke. Los Angeles traffic is famous, but up north in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's nothing to sneeze at. And since the Bay Area counties ordered the first shelter in place orders around the country in response to COVID-19, things have been noticeably different. It's about a 40% decrease in NOx, which is, contributes to smog, a 20% decrease in fine particulate matter, and about a 25% decrease in CO2. John Joya is a member of the California Air Resources Board. He says that fresh air you're noticing is real. Air quality clearly is better, and some of that's also due to the rain we've had here in the Bay Area. We've had the, the double benefit here of less people driving and, uh, and, and weather patterns that clean the air. It's not just happening in California. It's happening all over the world. The cities that I've looked at, uh, especially in Europe, uh, uh, there's been an about 20, uh, up to 50% reduction in uh, nitrogen dioxide. Laurie Mulaverta works for the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air. The organization has been tracking coronavirus-related shutdowns and their impact on air quality since the disease caused China to shut down. It was immediately clear that this would have a dramatic impact. What happened in China was that the lockdowns came into effect just when the country was starting its largest um, na national holiday of the year. Um, so a lot of factories, a lot of uh, power plants and so on were already closed. The good news is that one of the most deadly air pollutants, particle pollution, is way down. PM 2.5 is the most dangerous type of uh, air pollution um, globally. Um, it means particles that are so small that not only do they make it deep into your lungs, but when they go into your lungs, they can penetrate into your bloodstream. What makes this less good news is that it's probably only temporary. Oh, it comes right back. It comes right back. Monica Mazurek is an environmental engineering professor at Rutgers University. She says while things will return to normal once the economy starts back up, this is an incredible opportunity. This opportunity with COVID-19 has given us a chance to reset the emissions button. Joya agrees with her. As we move forward implementing our uh, new statewide uh, requirements to electrify transportation, the benefit is we will all have much better air quality and we won't need to go through a pandemic like this to get there. If there are serious policy changes made, this breath of fresh air might be here to stay. I'm Bo Evans reporting.